Hello everyone! So today we're going to be learning how to create a custom wall calendar right here in Canva. So let's get started! If you'd like to create a wall calendar with specific dimensions, then go to this button right here and then click on custom size. Input your desired dimensions over here and once you're done with that, Let's say, for example, and then this button will appear and it will be clickable. Click on it so that you'll be routed to the main editing page. Okay. Or you can also go to the search bar right here and type in wall calendar. And in order to view more templates to choose from, click on see all. And here we are on the templates page. Choose whatever template you'd like to use for your custom calendar. As for me, perhaps I'll use this one. Click on customize this template. All right, and here we are on the main editing page. By the way, in case you'd like to change your template, you can always do that by going to the side panel right here. You can scroll down and search for templates that you might want to try, or you can also search for specific templates here by inputting specific keywords depending on what you're looking for. The templates are under the design category. Okay, let's get started. Um, for the background, we can actually change its color by clicking this button right here. Or we could also go to the element section and type in background and see what we can find. Let's click on graphics. But we can also click on photos. But many of the photos here are actually pro elements. So I think it would be better to go to the graphics section or graphics category instead. Oh, I think I just typed background wrong. Sorry about that. Okay, and here we are. We have many options to choose from. In case there's a specific background that you like, then you can just go ahead and click on it and then right click on it and then select set image as background from the drop down. And there we have it. I think this is a very lovely background. But in order to adjust its placement, we're going to double click on it like so. And then we can do this. Yeah, we can drag it into position. Once you're done, you can click on done. And I think I'd also like to perhaps adjust the opacity or mean the transparency so let's try that by clicking this button right here and let's set it to 75 perhaps that's okay and I'm going to delete this element right here and perhaps we could replace it with something else but for now let's keep it like that and I'm going to select everything right here and move them over here because we're going to be adding other elements on this side later on. like to place this one over here too and make it a bit bigger. Now I'm going to add a rectangle to it. So I'm going to go or yeah, we're on the element section already. So I'm just basically going to type rectangle over here and see what we can find. Um, how about this one? I don't think it's adjustable though, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to go to all to select from select elements from the lines and shapes category. So let's see what we have. I guess this is the only one available for now. I like it because it has smooth edges, so let's give this one a try. Um, we're going to adjust it. The thing that I like about this element so much is that it's adjustable. Like you can adjust its length and width. 
perhaps we can get rid of this. We're going to create one over here later on. So I'm just going to, oh, make sure that you select everything. Now it's not aligned. Let's do that again. Make this one bigger. And adjust it properly. Perhaps we can move it upwards. I always forget these. And perhaps we could add another rectangle over here and another one over here. Let's just copy this one instead. Okay. And let's see what we can do. Let's try to change this to white and see if it works. And perhaps we could set this to 100 instead. Okay, that should be all right. Forgot about this again. Let's align it properly. Okay, and then perhaps we could change the color of this text, so let's give it a try. Or we can also add some effects to it. And then adjust its spacing instead. Or maybe we could change the color of this element. To something like that, perhaps. And then try to adjust its transparency to about 85 or maybe 75. Let's do the same thing for the other rectangles. There. Okay, now I'd like to duplicate this and put this over here and say notes. We shouldn't have deleted the um, that element from earlier, but that's okay. We're just gonna create one right now. And I'm also gonna duplicate this one and put here Put it here and say special dates. And maybe we could put this in the middle. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with it. So this is just one month. We're going to be working on other months. You don't have to go through all of those things again. Um, in order to save some time, you can just simply duplicate this page by clicking this button right here. And here, you have a copy of your calendar. So all you have to do is just insert other months of the year here, say for example, May, and then adjust the numbers according to the month. So you're going to have to refer to a real calendar for accuracy right there. And if you want to change the background for this page, you can do that so that you'll have different backgrounds for different months of the year. So just like what we did earlier, you can go to the element section or change your background using colors or photos, photo elements, or even your own photo by going to the upload section and by uploading your files over here. So let's try, let's search for background. 
graphics. Say this one, for example, we're going to right click on it and then replace background. And let's have this one. Or this one. And then you can also change the color of your elements to suit the theme. And there. Once you're happy with your calendar, you can go to the share button above, click on download, and then adjust the settings here. So select your desired file type. Make sure to check other settings as well and adjust them just how you like. And then once everything's all set, click on download. So there you have it. We hope you found today's video of help. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye for now!